Hey, fun fact. Did you know there's also a vice president? It's former Indiana governor and man who thinks seltzer water is too spicy. <laughs> Mike Pence. Well, uh, The Atlantic just published an in-depth profile on Pence, and there's all kinds of juicy nuggets in there. For instance, Pence was a fat little kid, or as he put it, the real pumpkin in the pickle patch. <laughs> that is the folksiest way to describe childhood sadness I have ever heard. <laughs> yep, I was a pumpkin in the pickle patch, a lemon in the old melon bowl, a real weeping loner at the freshman formal. Whoops, that wasn't a metaphor. <laughs> they also include some of Mike Pence's crazy college shenanigans. See, back then, uh, his college fraternity threw a keg party, which attracted the attention of one of the deans. So his frat brothers scrambled to hide the kegs in the plastic cups. But then Mike Pence led the administrator at the door, led the dean straight to the kegs, and admitted that they belonged to the fraternity. The resulting punishment was severe. Yes, the frat was never allowed to hold another frat party is what they told Mike Pence. <laughs> wasn't funny. You can't do it, Mike. Sorry. No. Yeah, We're going to stay Mike. in and study, too. Yeah. yeah look, Mike. The piece also profiles Pence's term in Congress, where Pence didn't have a reputation for legislative acumen, and some of his colleagues called him a nickname behind his back, Mike Dense. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> and I hope soon he'll be President Dense. But what really comes through in this piece is Pence's belief that he's doing the Lord's work. As the article puts it, what critics should worry about is not that Pence believes in God, but that he seems so certain that God believes in him. <laughs> and I, for one, can't help but wonder if God really does believe in Mike Pence. Well, then why don't you ask him, you dingus? Hey, it's God, everybody! Hey, everybody! Hey! I I gotta say, I, I, I didn't expect to see you again, Lord. Oh, you never know where I'm gonna show up. Sometimes in a sunset, something's on a grilled cheese sandwich. Not anymore, though. I'm lactose intolerant. I, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, that's where thunder comes from. <laughs> so, Lord, I gotta ask you something. Uh, is, it, is it true? Do, do you believe in Mike Pence? Of course I do. He talks to me every day. Every day, it's God. Give me strength to be a good man and not lust after the harlots in the L.L. Bean catalog. You well, know, some of those khaki pants are pretty flattering. So, have you always had faith in Mike Pence? Yeah, though I had a phase in college, you know, sometimes I'd stay up late with my dorm buddies and debate the existence of Mike Pence. I mean, an old guy with white hair silently judging everyone? Kind of far-fetched. Well, how about now? I mean, do you think Mike Pence should be president? None of my business. My vote doesn't count. I'm registered in heaven, not Ohio. Also, I'm a convicted fellow. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I told a guy to stab his son. Turns out that's illegal. Who knew? Sorry, Isaac. God, everybody. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for stuff anytime. Thank you, Stephen. Good to see you. We got a great show for you tonight. Mark Hamill is here. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.